All right, so this is HP, one of the old all-in-one PC. The model number is 22-3169NA. As you can see, it says the boot device not found. That means either the hard drive is broken or might be the operating system has damaged, okay? So we're going to reinstall Windows in it and definitely we're going to do in EVFI environment. So first of all, I created one and connected my bootable Windows 10 UEFI thumb drive and then I connected my mouse as you can see this is lighting up and then the keyboard so sometimes you do have touch enable this model but still I would suggest you do have external mouse and keyboard that would help that would not interrupt the uh, setup so once it done then we need to press and hold the power button to switch it off and then a couple of seconds later press the power button back on and keep pressing F10 so that you take it to the BIOS screen, okay? So from here, I can see on the top, there are a few options. By the way, this screen is highly reflective, so if it interrupts to see, uh, you can pause the video and double check. So as I can see, there is one option called storage, which is the second one on the right. So get into storage, then we're gonna get into boot folder. From here, as you can see, this is already set up in EVFI, but you know it doesn't show my usb thumb drive by the way i'm going to i'm going to select usb hard drive and then i'm going to press f10 to accept it so let's press f10 from the keyboard okay and then let's get into security then secure boot configuration is right here so once you press F10, it's gonna take you to the secure boot configuration settings. And from here, now you can customize. As you can see, it says the legacy support disabled. Now, if you would like to install in legacy environment, you have to make it enable. And once you do enable, then secure boot would be disabled, as you can see. And you just need to press the right arrow to change either if you want enable or disable. So now I selected legacy support enable, as you can see, at the same time, I kept the actual uh, UEFI secure boot disabled. Now, as you can see, it shows the legacy boot is not grayed out. Yeah, that's mean you can set it up. So this is the correct settings to boot up from legacy. Once again, if you want to enable in UEFI, let's show you how to do that. So click in there, press the F10, to get into secure boot configuration now we're going to press right arrow so that to disable the legacy support as you can see how to do that and then go back to secure boot and press the right arrow to make it enable now press f10 to save it like this and now you can go back to storage boot order and from here you can select whatever you want to select okay now i'm going to exit it i'm going to save the changes and exit and at the same time, I'm going to keep pressing F9 to get into temporary boot option, okay? This is for HP always. Now, as you can see, it shows my uh, USB thumb drive, which in the top one, and I'm going to hit enter, and then the system would recognize this UEFI USB installer disk, and it's going to load it up from there. So it would take a couple of minutes. That could be longer. It depends on how fast is your USB and... Uh, USB port plus the computer it depend on the combinations the speed so now this is loading up as I've said you might think this is already frozen or stuck don't do anything don't press any uh, button included the power button give it a time it should be fine all right so as you can see something is spinning and now we are in to the window setup page from here, you can choose your language and input method, time and currency, and the keyboard pattern. Then hit next, install now. And now accept the terms and condition. You can read if you'd like. If you don't accept it, then I'm gonna let you install their system. Click here, hit next. Now we're going to do fresh installation, so we'll choose the bottom option. And I'm going to keep only one partition, so I'm going to hit next. Now it's going to copy all the files and folders to the directory, and then 
it would finalize the setup updates uh, built-in updates from the actual system and then it should be fine so I'm we're going to check until the end if that is successful or not so stay with me and I believe that should be absolutely fine Okay, so finally it's all done. We're gonna uh, choose the keyboard layout and then all others terms and condition. And I would suggest you don't connect into internet. Otherwise it's gonna take all the huge updates and that would take so much longer time. And then I would suggest you press no for every single option. So Windows, I mean Microsoft doesn't get the privilege to get everything in their control. And you can create the desktop icons from the theme options and pretty much that's okay and the speed is fine now if you want you can up to date the drivers by clicking update and make sure you have the internet connection otherwise they don't take any updates or anything so still if you do have any question don't forget to leave it in the comment section and if you do like this video please like and subscribe and i hope i will see in the next one thanks for watching bye for now